the be becoming her is hard. I'm gonna give standing on business. And like, am I ready to stand on business for real? I mean, I am. I think I'm gonna keep with it. I think I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not gonna lie. I think I needed to go through that little funk to remind myself who the hell I am. Duh. She looked like 90s r and So today we're doing a cute little chit chat. Get ready with me. Cause I haven't done one of these in a minute. And I've also been going for a minute. I don't think I've posted like an actual like sit down YouTube video in a month, which is like, girl, you I'm about to chit chat for a little bit. Grab your snacks, grab your tea, grab your wine. I have my hot lemon water here because your girl is coming off from having the flu. First and foremost, happy 11 11. I'm not uploading it on 11 11. So I'm hoping that your past self manifested today because today is like a big portal for like getting our dreams together. I'm gonna do a more in depth video of a Get Ready With Me featuring all products that I think you guys should add to your Christmas list. And that's gonna come like in a week or two. But so I'm not gonna go super in depth on all of the products. Do you guys wanna be zoomed in? or do you want like the the broad view should i maybe zoom you guys in do you guys want to get close and comfortable let's get into it so as i said earlier in the video i have been going for a month girl consistency wear like please um and the reason is is i kind of fell into like a fall funk i'm not gonna lie and it's ironic that literally my last video was how to not be seasonally depressed and here i was seasonally depressed like babe make it make sense like once again like i know the steps that i need to take but sometimes you feel like you physically cannot do it like and i go through this every single year like this isn't anything new for me um especially when it is like seasonal there's always so many videos of like oh my god there's 60 days left in the year like this is the time to lock in on your habits this is the time to become her and people don't talk about it but babe becoming her is hard and that's okay becoming your best self is not an easy task because once again and i say this all the time if becoming your dream self or like who you want to be in this lifetime was easy every single person in this life would have exactly what they want the struggles that come with trying to make these gigantic life shifts and become this like beautiful higher self version of yourself a lot of the time you're going to be met with so much resistance because you're doing something that's out of your comfort zone and it comes with challenges you feel like you're kind of out of control and then it's like you fall off slightly i get really hard on myself for falling off and then it makes me not want to do whatever the task was at all and that's like worst case scenario plus like i had a situation that triggered me this month somebody really close to me um unfortunately lost their mom and if you guys don't know my mom passed away when i was like super duper young but i feel like that situation like triggered emotions in me that i wasn't like necessarily prepared to process and like it was just a lot like me trying to become like the best version of myself at the same time that i have season depression at the same time that i'm getting triggered by like emotional things and then also like my sister wasn't here and she's kind of like my safety blanket a little bit when it comes to just life and i feel like i was just going through a lot of emotions and i was just trying to like put on a good face for myself but like was struggling pairing that all together i was just like super in my head last month and i just felt like i was just not really in the space to show up for you guys how i'm supposed to because i'm not really one to like want to create content when i'm not feeling the best um because i feel like it shows and i don't ever want to come off like fake but I also don't want to neglect you guys at the same time. And I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit more comfortable with the concept of like sharing myself online. I didn't think I was, but babe, I'm honestly a lot more of a private person than I expected myself to. Like I don't always like to share um, the nitty gritty details on exactly what I'm going through all the time, but I'm trying to get over that because I know there's so many people who could probably benefit from me being like transparent about like what I'm going through or like how I'm feeling. And I definitely get in my head a lot and I feel like recently like my self-criticism has been on 10,000 but like mentally I just was not really being the nicest to myself I'm watching a show on Netflix it's called everything now and it's actually a really cute show it's like a British version of euphoria in a way and the mom that on the show that I was watching she said something today and I was like oh my god this resonated so much and it was along the lines of everybody has a negative voice in their head and you just have to remember that the voice is lying and that the only reason why the voice is getting louder is because you're winning you are taking the steps and the strides to become this person that you want to be and like things are actually working out for you and you're growing as a person and that voice is going to get louder to try to deter you once you no longer allow that voice to control how you operate in your day-to-day -day life and you don't let it control how you view yourself 
it loses at the end of the day and you become the version of yourself that you want to be and honestly that just resonated so much with me because i was getting really in my head and i was having like crazy imposter syndrome right as things were starting to like look like they were going in my favor babe i'm winning and that's why this voice is getting so loud and i just need to make sure that i don't let the voice take over like i don't let that negative low vibrational version of me that be in my head that's lying um get to the best of me that's why today i'm here to chit chat with you guys because i feel like at the end of the day there's probably so many people who are experiencing like similar emotions to like what i'm experiencing right now and especially with seasonal depression coming on it can get overwhelming and that's why i always say it's like becoming the version that you want to be becoming her is hard babe like it's not easy and i don't think it's talked about enough and a lot of the times you are going to slip up and you are going to fall back on what you said you're going to do because it's almost a little bit of a taboo topic it's like why would i tell you that it's okay to fall off from your goals when i'm trying to convince you that you should be on your shit you know what i'm saying like tons of creators and like you know people aren't going to talk about that it's up to you to not let the guilt of falling off get the best of you as i'm saying that 333 three, three on my timer on my camera so period i'm kind of disappointed that i didn't show for myself exactly how i wanted to this week but i'm not going to let that prevent me from doing it next week i want to be more proactive and i want to be more organized and i want to get my life together and i don't want to keep feeling the sadness of disappointing myself so you know how i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna stop doing it and i'm gonna be sensitive with myself when it happens but i'm not going to let it get the best of me that's that's on period that's on mothers that's on fathers that's on baby daddies i don't got none of those but if you got them that's on your baby daddy um please sorry that was like a intrusive thought enough of like the heavy serious chat what's been going on what's tea with y'all like, this is my favorite time of year trust like i am a holiday girl um i did have a lot of fun for halloween i'm gonna pop up some pictures your girl was a uh, chucky um and i had so much fun recreating this costume i'm also going home for christmas i haven't been home like since 2020 I think like damn near I haven't been since I moved like on a past YouTube video of like my vlog of me moving here I literally was like oh my god this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna ever see this room um I'm finally moving today this is my last time in my room ever <laughs> goodbye room <clears throat> had amazing memories in here because like I thought my dad was moving for good but he didn't but it is gonna be the last time i saw my room in that like version of it I, my room is a completely different color painted we took the carpet up my, i'm not going back to my childhood home i'm going back to like my renovated childhood home which i think is gonna be kind of fun like i'm actually excited to see the changes i also turned 27 in three months 27 just sounds so old and serious 26 gives like flirty we don't have to be responsible i'm just 26 like you know what i'm saying like it gives very much like 26 just gives me flirty 27 gives serious 27 gives standing on business and like am i ready to stand on business for real i mean i am but do i want to no and, and i always say that your 30s are like a more financially stable version of your 20s so trust i'm not afraid to turn 30 but the closer you creep to it the more you're like oh honey What's going on? I've been having that little life crisis. I'm about to enter my Saturn return, as they say. I think it's like 27 to 29 is your Saturn return, and that's when you like really like transform into the person that you're probably gonna be for the next couple years. A process of like trying to figure out like who I am, what my values are, what I want, what my non-negotiables are in terms of relationships, what my non-negotiables are in terms of like career, you know, who I want to show up as in this world, what my values are politically, and like all of that like i just feel like this age range is like i'm really learning about myself which is great and i'm actually so happy that i'm learning about myself but it's also like a weird growing pains age i say all of this to say i'm trying to figure out my aesthetic i feel like sometimes like my aesthetic and like my wardrobe all, all the seriousness aside aesthetically who is zoe alexandra who is she i feel like i'm really locking into this hair color the minute I started doing this hair color, I just feel like a new energy awoke out of me and I feel so confident in my appearance and I get told all the time like, never change your hair color, this hair color is for you, blah blah blah. Um, and I think I'm going to keep with it, I think I'm going to stick with it, I'm not going to lie. And especially because I dye it myself, I feel like it's really easy for me to maintain because I know the exact like 
method I need to use. I just feel like this hair color is giving me like my fiery energy. That's another thing about my year 27. Um, and I feel like red, as you guys can see, I have a little charm bracelet and I chose the color red to remind myself that I need to be more bold and I need to start taking risks. I need to stop playing it safe so much. I play it safe a lot and I wanna stop doing that. I wanna start just being bold and allowing my personality to shine through, not being afraid to share about myself online, not being afraid to be perceived by people, not being afraid to take risks and travel and get out of my comfort zone. I feel like this era is definitely like for me to lock into that energy. Period, bold Zoe 2024, like get into it. Also four is my number. 444 love her just feel it you know i went through my october funk but i just feel this like fiery energy like ah, like we're about to we're about to go crazy november december january february march april may june july august september october november december all year period and i think i needed to go through that little funk to remind myself who the hell i am duh it's 11-11. We're manifesting the most wonderful outcomes, most positive possibilities. Like, if you made it to the end of this video, I love you so much. But I hope just in general, this could give you a little bit of like comfort to know that like, babe, if you're falling off on your goals, it's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. You're going to pick yourself back up and keep going. Don't bully yourself out of doing what you want to do in this life. So I'm going to be trying to post two times a week in November. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Um, but we're gonna see. I feel like it's gonna give what it's supposed to get. Love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next upload. I hope you have a wonderful day.